Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Scoutcraft server, guys. And oh my god, would you just look at this honey? Oh, people have been buying our honey. It has been. Oh, we have got nine diamonds in this one. And oh, we've got nothing in here. And we've actually got a total of 18 diamonds. Oh my god, guys, can you look at that? And our honey is dripping from the ceiling from these hives, which is good to see. And 18 diamonds is not a bad haul, especially since it's only been a week of opening. So we're going to go restock all this stuff now, and then we're going to be getting into today's episode, which I think you'll enjoy. We're going to be remaking our lovely island and we're going to be collecting a lot of dirt so we we'll explain that in just a quick second guys and we're just restocking the honey shop now that's all restocked we have to afk some more for our honey blocks but that'll go pretty quick so yeah guys we're going to be meeting at the island and we can just get into today's episode so we're back on our cozy little island now and actually I am not liking the size of this anymore. It is very tiny, and that is what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be extending our island and decorating it a little bit. We're going to be spending a little bit more time on it to get everything sorted. So we've got to actually gather a fair load of dirt in about six shulker boxes. We're going to try and get six shulker boxes full of dirt, and then we're going to get constructing the perimeter of our new island. So, yeah, we're going to get into so quick dirt mining, and we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back and look at this. We got dirt upon dirt upon dirt upon dirt upon dirt. And Mr. Cow, he is loving the, loving the place. I was going to kill him just then, but he is required on this island as he's the only cow we've got. And there's just a stray leaf there. So, yeah, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump in and try and get some dimensions right. So I'm going to play around with a little bit out there, maybe go... Um, I don't want it to be perfectly circle, but I do want it to be a lot bigger than what we currently have it. So, yeah, I'm going to play around with a few things and get some dimensions and we'll see what happens from that. All right, guys, I've been playing around with this for a while. And as you can see, that's kind of what we've come up with so far. Whoa. Well, can we get a good view here? This is what we've come up with so far. It's not looking good at all. Uh, it kind of just looks bland and circular. So I want to have some cutouts here and there, make it a bit more wavy than just more diagonal. So I'm going to play around with that a little bit more and try and see if I can get a more, uh, like natural shape of an island to try. I might cover that up as well. I want to have it completely be warm ocean. So I don't have any dark blue spots around the island. So I'm going to try and do some cutouts, do some little weavy things and, See what we can do, really, yeah. All right, guys. I think I've actually finally found something that I enjoy. As you can see, we've done some little cutouts, some cut forwards, and that is going to be our island. We're going to fill that all in as part of a little time lapse we're going to head into in just a second. But, guys, what we have planned for after this is to have, like, little mountains around the side of this to have, like, a perimeter like a wall kind of thing, a great wall of mads, we, should, we can call it, or something like that. So, But first, we've actually just got to fill in all these gaps, get some terraforming going, and yeah, so enjoy this time lapse. So without any further ado, I think it's time to hit it. guys i really did hope you enjoyed that quick little time lapse there and this is our island guys it is our new island it looks a bit bland to start off with but i'm really loving the shapes of the ins and out here and we've got it all lit up so no mobs can spawn on it um but what we've got to do now was the next step of this episode was to actually kind of start to construct some mountains 
around the exterior here. It's going to be like the Great Wall of Mads, as I said before. So we're going to have it about, I don't know, 15 high, possibly, off this point here. And it's going to be quickly uh, become straight down to this surface here. And we're going to follow it with the way this island goes. So we want to try and, like, say, if we came one, two, three, four, five, roughly here, and then follow that line all the way around the island. Go 15 high and then start terraforming it down. As you can hear, we've got a lot of drowned zombies underneath the island because that is completely, completely hollow, as you can see. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have to clean that up eventually. We're also going to terraform this down. Maybe not in today's episode, Ooh, today's episode, but it will be done in future, guys. So I'm going to prep a little bit of stuff for this mountain work, get the design ready, and we will have this all ready to go. Woo! All right, guys, we have tinkered through with a little mountain platform. And as you can see, we've completed just a small portion of what we want done. And this is basically what it's gonna look like, minus a few details with grass and flowers and all that kind of jazz, just to make it pretty. So yeah, we've got all this here and that is what's going to be all around this perimeter, all of that. So that is going to be an absolute mega project. And we're going to see if we can knock off a fair chunk of it today. But as you can see, I kind of followed all the way around this island in a way that kind of matches, gives me enough room to kind of come down in a nice custom way that will still look like it's naturally generated by Minecraft. Um, obviously, it's not naturally generated because it still is in the middle of the ocean. But as you can see here, whoa, this is underneath and that will be fixed eventually. I'm still working out whether I want to uh, fill this all in since it is a big project and it'll be a lot of blocks. I might be able to do it on streams, um, but that is going to be a very boring stream for viewers. So if you guys want to see streams like that, please let me know in the comments below. If you don't, I'll just leave it hollow and you won't know anyway. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to do with that and I will do what you want. So the next step now is, guys, it's to do this all the way around. I'm going to see if I can knock off a fair chunk of it uh, today, but I doubt I'll get all of it done considering the size of it. Maybe we can get half done. We've still got it all... Our resources are gone, most of. So we're going to have to go invest in some more dirt. Because what I do is I place it all down in dirt and then I add the stone to it. So I quite like that. I thought about adding cobble into it, but I think that that is probably too unnatural. So I just rolled with the andesite and the stone. So I'm really loving that with some bone meal, concrete powder, all that. I think that this is going to cover a million bucks. So... We're going to try and do a little bit more on this. All right, guys, I've been building away for a little bit, and what you're going to see is just a dirt view of what we've done so far. So we haven't done all... Oh, oh, oh. We haven't gone all the way yet, but we've got this to go so far. So once we do that, we're going to actually plan... My plan is to actually have four beacons, one there one there, one there, and one there in all four corners. It will be all built up uh, a bit more. So these four corners will be a bit higher once we kind of get the gist of it a little bit. Uh, we'll get rid of this creeper quickly. And um, so, yeah, we'll have a fly around. It's not mob proof, as you can see. But as right now, this is as it stands when we turn around kind of looks like a crater, which is what we're going for. We are going to extend this out too by a few blocks. So we want to extend that out along here just so we can put some like custom trees and some shrubbery to make it give it that kind of old effect on the outside and worn down and same with this. So it'll eventually look like that there, all this around. And then we'll add leaves, concrete powder, some other stuff to make it that little bit run down and worn in this area. But recently, guys, we did a netherite stream and it went for about three hours. It is up on the channel right now. I don't expect you to watch all of it, 
But basically what happened is <laughs> we mined for some netherite. So I've gone ahead and smelted our netherite scrap. And this is our netherite scrap there. So we're going to need some gold. I believe it's going to be a fair chunk of our gold to make netherite, I believe. Let's see. I think you need four gold. So for everyone wondering, that is the crafting recipe right there. So I believe the final thing to do now is to convert it. And I, obviously, I think it's like this. Oh, boys, we are in netherite. If this is not a new era for us on the Scoutcraft server, I don't know what is. Oh, my Lord. There we go. Look at that. We are in netherite. This is my first ever netherite, guys, in the game. So you guys are here are sharing it with me. I haven't experienced this anywhere else. And God, it looks good. So we're going to do a few tools. And as you can see here, we've kind of got a bit of shulker organization going on here with our valuables chest and our tools chest. So we've got a lot spare. So we're going to do all these here. And we've got another achievement, guys. Serious dedication. Use a netherite ingot to upgrade a hoe and then reevaluate your life choices. Uh, so we'll put our elytra back on. We had an enderman teleport in here. So we've got one netherite ingot left, but we've got all our tools done, guys. So have a look at that, guys. Oh, my Lord. We are now balling in netherite gear. We are in a new stage, and we've actually got a... Silk Touch hoe now as efficiency V. So that'll be coming handy for the nether as well. And oh, it's just good. It's good. But I think that's all we've got time for this episode. So I really did hope you enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already joined the Mads Mayhem Discord, there's been some big changes in that so far. And we're currently at about 40 members so far when you're seeing this video. So if you want to stay in touch with all our uh, videos and tweets and stuff like that, get in there. Get around everyone, it'll be great. But that's me for this episode. My name is Mansify, heading out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!